Good morning and welcome to today's daily word of encouragement. Do you feel at times as though you're just tired, you're worn out, you're weary, uh, perhaps you even feel like you're at your breaking point? If you're not feeling that way right now, praise God, but I'm sure that there are times you can relate to and may even have in the future where you're just exhausted and you're saying, God, I can't take any more of this. I need a break from this. I need you to break through. Part of why we feel that way is it's not a lie. We're going through a thing called spiritual warfare um, and it's been intense for a while now and it can cause fatigue, it can cause weariness, it can cause burnout and exhaustion, confusion, disappointment. And the enemy loves to stir the pot even more and make us feel like we're stuck in that situation and make us feel, you know, he'll whisper and say, well, you're weak and you can't endure. Look how other people can handle this, but you're feeling weak. And we start to believe those lies. But I'm here to remind you today that God has made you resilient. You are not going to break. You are not going to fail because God is with you. And God, in our weakness, he is our strength. He's our sustainer. And so I want to encourage you today with 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and following. It says, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but never abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. So you may be struck down, but you're not destroyed. You, my brother, my sister, are resilient. And why? We are always carrying the death of Christ. There are things in us that are constantly dying. Why? So that the life of Christ may re be revealed in our body, in our life, in our circumstances. And so, my friend, you are resilient. Why? Because Jesus is resilient. No, he didn't just die in the grave and stay there, but we know three days later he rose back up because it was the will of the Father. You may be struck down, but you are not destroyed and you will rise again after this season. Why? Because the same power that abides in Jesus, the same power that rose him from the dead will rise you back up as well. So know that you are resilient. Resist every lie and imagination of Satan that is setting itself up against the knowledge of God in your life. You are resilient. You may be struck down for a moment, but you're not destroyed because God is with you and he is in you. And if he didn't let Jesus decay, he's surely not going to let you. So be encouraged today and know that you are resilient. And yes, sometimes our life seems like ashes because the fires that come in and destroy. But God knows how to take beauty and make something beautiful out of our ashes. Be encouraged today. God is molding you. It even said right before verse 8, before I started reading, in verse 7 it says, We have this treasure in jars of clay to show that it, this all-surpassing power is from God, not from us. You and I are jars of clay. clay um, a clay jar can be broken. But we know that our potter is God, and He can put us back together again, and He can make us even more beautiful than before. And the power of resiliency is not in your free will. It's not in mine. It's not in our own strength. It's not in our own decisions. It's not in our own willpower. No, our resilience is because Jesus lives inside of us. So give glory to God today that you're still standing. And know that God is going to restore and revive that what is broken and lost. God bless you today. I love you. Be encouraged.